Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to explore two of the most powerful and widely discussed air defense systems in the world, Iran's Russian seat, Lied S-400 Triumph and Israel's homegrown Iron Dome. Both these systems serve vastly different purposes, yet each is vital to the national defense strategies of their respective countries. Understanding their design, function, capabilities, and real world use gives us insight into how modern nations prepare for and defend against aerial threats in this era of evolving warfare. The S-400 Triumph is a long-range surfaced, where missile system developed by Russia and considered one of the most advanced in the world. Recently, Iran has acquired this system from Russia, which has significantly elevated its air defense capabilities. This system is designed to detect, track, and destroy a wide array of aerial threats including stealth aircraft, drones, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and more. The S-400 can engage targets at ranges up to 400 kilometers and at altitudes of up to 30 kilometers. The system is built on a mobile platform and consists of command vehicles long, range radar units, target acquisition radars, and missile launch vehicles. The system is mounted on large military-grade trucks, allowing it to be relocated easily based on strategic requirements. In contrast, the Iron Dome, developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is designed to counter shore range projectiles such as rockets, artillery shells, and mortars. It is built specifically to intercept threats aimed at civilian centers and critical infrastructure. The Iron Dome system comprises three core components, the detection and tracking radar, the battle management and control unit, and the missile firing unit. The system launches Tamir interceptor missiles to destroy incoming threats mid-air. Each Iron Dome battery covers a small area, but can be networked with others to create a broad defensive shield. While the S-400 is physically larger and more complex, the Iron Dome's modular design allows it to be deployed in both fixed and mobile positions, including atop buildings or remote terrain. Internally, both systems differ not only in design, but also in operational philosophy. The S-400 Hundreds control centers are more traditional, using a combination of analog and digital technology, and are manned by trained personnel who make critical targeting decisions. Its radar systems are powerful and integrated, capable of simultaneously tracking hundreds of targets and engaging dozens at once. The Iron Dome relies more on automation and AI, with much of the decision making delegated to algorithms. Its internal systems are highly digitized, allowing it to calculate projectile trajectories, assess the threat level, and determine whether interception is necessary, all within seconds. While S-400 focuses on broad strategic air defense, Iron Dome operates with surgical precision on a tactical, urban scale. Performance-wise, the S-400 is a true heavyweight, it can strike aircraft and missiles from hundreds of kilometers away, engage up to 80 targets at once, and guide up to 160 missiles simultaneously. It employs a suite of missile types tailored for various ranges and targets, including the 40N6, 48N6, and 9M96 series. This makes the S-4 hundred an extremely versatile system capable of providing layered air defense against a wide spectrum of threats. Its radars are among the most advanced in the world, using phased array technology and capable of detecting stealth aircraft. The S-4 hundred's ability to coordinate with other systems like the Pant, Cirrus-1 makes it a cornerstone in any integrated air defense network. The Iron Dome, while less ambitious in range, has an outstanding operational record. It is optimized for close, range, high-frequency engagements, intercepting over 90% of threats in actual combat conditions. Since its deployment, it has shot down thousands of rockets launched at Israeli territory. 
Its Tamir interceptor missile is small, agile, and cost-efficient. The radar and control systems identify not just the launch, but also the impact trajectory of each incoming projectile. The system only engages those that are heading toward populated or critical areas, conserving missiles, and reducing operational costs. This level of efficiency, combined with speed and automation, makes the Iron Dome uniquely effective in high-density threat environments. Safety is a crucial aspect of any air defense system. The S-400's primary safety function is its ability to prevent hostile aircraft or missiles from penetrating airspace altogether. By presenting a broad threat envelope and having the capability to destroy targets far from the protected zone, it serves as both a deterrent and a shield. The multi-layered radar coverage reduces the risk of radar blind spots and increases overall reliability. The redundancy built into the system ensures that even in the case of electronic warfare or partial system failure, the network remains functional and responsive. The Iron Dome prioritizes civilian safety above all else. It is designed specifically for urban protection and has proven extremely effective in real-life conflict scenarios. By calculating the expected impact zone of incoming threats, it avoids launching interceptors at projectiles that pose no real danger, thus minimizing the risk of falling debris in populated areas. Its design prioritizes rapid deployment and ease of relocation, which enhances its utility in fast, moving conflict situations. The system is also capable of functioning under intense fire, dealing with barrages of dozens of rockets in quick succession without compromising performance. Each of these systems has a distinct selling point. The S-400's unique advantage is its reach and power. It offers a strategic defense solution capable of neutralizing high-speed, long-range threats before they even reach the border. It acts not just as a defensive tool, but as a geopolitical asset giving any nation that deploys it a significant deterrent capability. The integration of various missile types into one system also reduces logistical complexity and increases operational flexibility. The Iron Dome's standout feature is its selective targeting and affordability. Each interceptor missile is significantly cheaper than those used in larger systems, and its software Controlled efficiency dramatically lowers the cost of engagement. Its high interception rate combined with cost effectiveness makes it an ideal solution for countries facing frequent low tech threats like unguided rockets or mortars. The system has also been exported and adapted by other nations, proving its versatility and reliability. In terms of cost, the S-400 is considerably more expensive a full battery can cost upwards of backslash dollar 500 million, not including maintenance, training, and system integration costs. It requires significant infrastructure and personnel for operation. The Iron Dome, on the other hand, is far more budget friendly. A single battery costs approximately backslash dollar 50 million, and individual Tamir interceptors range between backslash dollar 40, 000, and backslash dollar 1, 100, 000, 000. This makes Iron Dome a practical solution for prolonged engagements and ongoing threats, whereas the S-400 is more of a high val U strategic asset. In conclusion, deciding which system is superior depends entirely on the mission it is intended to serve. The S-400 is built for national-level defense against advanced threats, offering reach, firepower, and layered protection. It is ideal for protecting vast territories and deterring enemy aircraft and missiles. The Iron Dome is designed for localized defense, urban protection, and intercepting low-cost, short-range threats with high accuracy. It has saved countless lives and demonstrated exceptional performance 
under real combat conditions. These two systems are not in direct competition, but rather represent different responses to different threat environments. Iran's use of the S-400 underscores its desire for strategic depth and deterrence, while Israel's development of the Iron Dome reflects a commitment to tactical precision and civilian protection. Each system is a marvel in its own right, and together they show the diversity of modern air defense strategies.